Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to graph this given quadratic function without using a calculator. And before we go any further let me go ahead and remind you that this given quadratic function is also called a parabola whose standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c. And one more thing, f of x is always same as y. So in our case, a is going to be 4, b is going to be positive 12, and c is going to be 9. And our parabola is going to look like this graph. And it's going to open upward since the reason is because a is 4 in our case, the leading coefficient, which is a positive number. At this very first step, what we want to do is we want to find out how many solution does this function has. So for that reason, we will be using discriminant, which is b squared minus 4 times ac, where we know our a is 4, b is 12, and c is 9. Let's go ahead and plug it in, see how much b squared minus 4 ac turns out to be. So b squared is going to be simply 12 squared minus 4 times a is 4, and c is 9. 12 square is 144 and if you multiply these numbers you're going to get 144 as well which turns out to be zero that means this our discriminant turns out to be equal to zero so always remember whenever the discriminant equal to zero that means we're going to have only one solution and one solution means that only one x intercept just keep in your mind that's going to help us a lot in the next few steps and in this step we are going to find the axis of symmetry for this given function and here's the x of symmetry formula x equal to minus b over 2a where we have these a b and c values let's go ahead and figure out our x of symmetry so x is going to be equal to minus b that means it's going to be minus 12 on the top over 2 times a is 4 so that's going to be a negative 12 over 8 if you reduce it that's going to be negative 3 over 2 so our x as a symmetry turns out to be negative 3 over 2 or simply if you want to put in a decimal that's going to be a negative 1.5 and here is the x of symmetry that is going to look like on the graph it is just a dotted line it's a perpendicular line that passes through x axis at x equal to negative 3 over 2 or simply negative 1.5 and in this step we are going to find the vertex that is the turning point and vertex is nothing more than x y point always just keep in your mind and if you recall uh, in the previous step we already figured out x was equal to negative 3 over 2 you if you remember that one we figured out in the previous step in the axis of symmetry if we have x this negative 3 over 2 let's plug it in this in this equation and find out the value of y that's what we're going to do so y is going to be equal to 4 times wherever you see x replace it by negative 3 over 2 so that's what we're going to do plus 12 times negative 3 over 2 plus 9 so far so good let's go ahead and square that one so that's going to be 4 times this become 9 over 4 minus 
36 over 2 plus 9. Here 4 and 4 cancels out. So we got 9 minus this is going to become 18 plus 9. That means y turns out to be 0. So that means we already have x equal to negative 3 over 2 and y equal to 0. So that means our vertex is simply equal to negative 3 over 2 comma 0. So this is our vertex and we know that our y this is x value and this is y value whenever you have a y value 0 that means this vertex is same as x intercept so our intercept turns out to be negative 3 over 2 comma 0 so thus our x intercept in the in the previous step turns out to be was negative 3 over 2 comma 0 that means simply x intercept is simply x equal to negative 3 over 2 that is our only one x intercept and to find the y intercept always remember the easiest way is just look for this last number which is a constant term that's going to be always your y intercept so thus our y intercept turns out to be simply positive 9 now let's go ahead and graph all these info that we have got so we know the x of symmetry was in the previous step negative 3 over 2 vertex was negative 3 over 2 comma 0 x intercept y intercept we know this has only one solution it opens up and all these things i have just put down these info over here on this graph over here first of all the x symmetry is the started line and then this point over here on x axis you see this is same point is a vertex and the x intercept at negative 3 over 2 and our y intercept the point on y axis is 9 isn't it you can see this is 9 or i can also put it uh, 0 comma 9 same thing now before we go any further okay let me just uh, tell you that if this axisymmetry acts like a mirror okay it's just like a reflection whatever nine you see how are you going to see on the other side so its reflection is going to be right up here you see that thing over here so our another point by just looking at this through the axisymmetry we figured out that this is simply another point is simply negative 3 comma 9 isn't it so now our graph is going to go this one over here it is just going to be crossing x-axis it's going to be just touching x-axis at this point only so to make it a little bit more precise we need uh, maybe a couple of more points for that one i'm gonna just simply make a t-chart over here let's say that this is your x value and this is your y value let's pick the easiest one okay if i pick x equal to negative one and i want you to plug it back in your original equation and here is our original uh, equation or a function wherever you see x replaced by negative one see what happens over here that's what we're going to do so i'm going to put down y equal to four times negative one square plus 12 times negative one plus nine and four times one square is same as positive one this is minus 12 plus nine so this is going to give you 4 minus 12 plus 9 is going to give you y equals to 1. So that means if I put x equal to 1, y turns out to be, if x equal to negative 1, y turns out to be 1.
so let's see where that one if 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 x is negative one and negative one is right up here negative one is right up here for x so we got this thing and y equals to one you can see over here so this is another point we got over here now let me ask you now where is going to be the reflection of this point which is negative one comma one this is what we got its reflection is going to be on the other side through this x of symmetry which acts like a mirror so this is going to be simply negative 2 comma 1 okay so now this is what we're going to do now we're going to go ahead and connect these points we're going to connect this point we're going to connect this point it's going to connect this point we are going to connect this point and this one and that's going to give us a really precise kind of graph and here is our precise final graph after connecting all those points that we discussed and by the way once again this graph only touches x axis at only one point as you can see Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.